Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impressions, kind of like get ready with me using new products. Ooh, let's hide that. Let's hide the truth. Here we go. And I'm just gonna go with the flow and try it out. I can I give a full review because like I said, it's my first time trying the products on. So I'm just gonna go based on based on what I know. So this video is dedicated to one of my best friends. Her name is Leticia and um, she loves my videos and I know she's going to appreciate this look. So I'm just going to ride ahead and get to it. I am using the Revron Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminated Primer. This is what it looks like. I forgot. So this is the Fancy Pro Filter Foundation. It's a soft matte long wear foundation, according to what it says on the bottle. The bottle is glass, so be careful not to drop it. And I'm in the shade 220, hopefully, because I was matched in the <clears throat> in the store. Shake it up a little bit. Now, it's my first time working with this foundation, so I don't know what I need. I don't know how much I need, so we're going to go with God and hope that... Hmm. Okay, so I like it so far. It's like... I really, really like it. <sighs> I am so clumsy. This is called the Pro Filter Concealer Instant Retouch Conceal. Okay. And it's eight millimeters. This is what it looks like, and because I wanted something brightening, I chose the color 210. So I'm gonna go a little bit underneath my eyes. Come here. Can I get some tea? No. I love you. Mm Hurry -hmm. up. You know my popcorn? Okay, go ahead. My son is making popcorn, so I apologize for the little noise. He had ample time to do that before, but no. I wasn't hungry before. Oh, okay. okay. Should I see if I need like a smaller mirror? I'm so used to using a smaller mirror like in my hands, so... Once again, if you hear the microwave, that's my son is cooking. Okay. Okay, the foundation so far, I love it. And the concealer, I can work with it, so. Next, next thing I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Powder. The setting powder, this is in the color Banana. Open it up, get a little bit of the product out, taking some of the powder, and just pressing it underneath. Okay, hello banana. Now one thing I'm going to say is that I am loving the way my face looks right now. Overall, like the products work very well together. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm gonna use the ABH Riviera palette. This is what the palette looks like. Let me just put this plastic over here. This palette right over here. Beautiful, beautiful colors. 
Okay, so I already prepped my lid with a little bit of the Pro Filter foundation. I'm just gonna go over. This is the same um, brush that comes inside the kit. I'm gonna go over the more fluffy side. I'm gonna grab the shade State only to kind of like seal my lid, go over it, if you will. Can I use this little mirror in the palette? Yes, I can. If I can take this plastic off. Okay, they don't want they don't want you to use the mirror like it has a little plastic there that you can't take off. Okay, so I'm not gonna take off the plastic, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a little bit of state. Ooh, it has a lot of fallout. You just touch it and it falls apart. Wow, did I lose all the pigment that I picked up? Yes, I did. Maybe it's the brush. I'm gonna go in with this one. This is a medium shadow brush from Real Techniques. Gonna grab a little bit in the back of the brush. Much, much better, less fallout. I'm just gonna set the eye. like so this a simple look so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the color my friend is very simple she doesn't like um, nothing too too strong she's very delicate so I'm gonna use the color Palm to bring some warmth into the eye and I'm going to use the same brush that I used before because why waste when you can you know work together it's a little bit chocolatey color Okay, okay, so let's continue with the eyes because I gave up on the eyebrows a long time ago and yeah, yeah, let's not talk about it. So, moving on to another color, another color, I am using a shading brush, would that be the smartest idea for me to do? No. I am going to use a Eco Tool, this is a detail brush because I want to grab it and be very detailed when I put it. And then I'm gonna work it out. Did that make sense? I don't know what that was, but I am going to dip into the shade Mediterranean, which is that little blue color. Should I do the blue color like that? I mean, should I do gold? Hmm. Pink. What color will she like? All these colors are gorgeous and will go well together. Her favorite color is purple. Okay. Let me try something. I'm going in with the palette that came with the brush. And this is the, I guess, more narrow side. The purple color is called Cane. Canes. Like the festival, the cane festival. Hello, Fallout. 
I'm not even gonna let it sit for too long. I got something for your ass. The powder has a little smell to it. It's a beautiful purple. I'm just gonna pat it lightly. Yeah, that setting powder it smells like bananas. It smells like pudding. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's very powered. Powdery, very powdery foundation. Eyeshadow. My bad. Yeah. If I touch it, it it moves around. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this palette. For forty-five dollars, like you can get a palette. For way less amount of money with vibrant colors that has way less fallout than this. Like, I don't know how to work it right now. I'm afraid. I am afraid of the palette. If I move it, it's gonna come out. If I, you know, like, what's the right move here? We're gonna have problems. I'm gonna use a detail brush, and by the grace of God, I am going to grab the color Palermo, which is a pinkish, um, glittery, co glittery color. This one right here. This one. I'm just gonna pat it on top. Make sure I coat my. Okay, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, you have to be careful not to drag it because it will take the color off. Like I said, this is just like my first impression. I'm going to go back to this palette and do another look and use a different eye primer. Like use eye primer and see if that will help the situation. I know the, the, the formula is very powdery. But that's very pretty. That is very, very pretty. Okay. I'm, I'm, it's like I'm crying purple specks. Why do people bake? Yeah, this. The, oh my god, the Fenty powder do have a nice scented smell. Dessert-ish. 
Okay, so that's what the eyes are looking like. I'm thinking I'm gonna try the eyeliner. If it gets any worse, then flush it. We tried, we gave it our all. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. The new eyeliner, it's supposed to be waterproof, so. Let's see. Fun fact, I was the person who taught Leticia how to put her eyeliner and to this day she still do the same technique and it works for her. Like she's very simple, she does eyeliner, very simple looks um, and I forgot what I taught her. So yeah, good teacher I am. I am stressed. I am stressed. The flush out. Okay. So, be right back. I'm gonna finish the eye of camera. Okay, I was gonna finish the eye of camera, but I changed my mind. So, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes first. I'm gonna get a little bit. Okay. I am very pleased with the eyes. The eyeshadow um, gave me a little bit of issues. By a little bit, I mean a lot of issues. Um, but, like I said, first impressions, I'm going to go back to it and do another look. Different colors and see if I have the same issues. So, let's continue. So far, the foundation is looking nice. I'm going to add the bronzer and see how it plays with it. This is the Fancy Beauty Shady Biz bronzer i got the little one because i didn't want to buy a big one and not like it so i am going to go in with dun, 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 dun. what is this brush actually for is this the one for contour no this is the highlight brush this is the one for contour yes so fluffy see this one doesn't have any smell so i'm going to take a little bit Dust it off a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to try the NARS. This is what it looks like. Orgasm blush. It's like a pinkish blush. So next I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Kilowatt. If I can open it. This is what it looks like. It's one of the minis that came in a little bundle. I'm going to use this is the highlighter blush. We're almost done with the face. Just to finish off, I'm just gonna use the the the. the. This is the gloss balm in the color. Yeah, Fenty Glow gloss balm. I don't think it has a specific color. See, you don't feel it when you first take it out and you smell it. You kind of don't sense it, but when you put it on, it's amazing. I'm 
What do we think? We love it so far. Mira que lindo. Otro lo día. Lo único que me ca me la sombra diferente, pero también verdad. La, la. So like I said in the beginning, this look is inspired by my best friend Leticia, and it wouldn't be a look inspired by her if I didn't do her signature stuff. So I already did the eyeliner, even though it's not my best work, but it's there. The simple lips, the simple makeup, and last but not least, the hair. Okay, stop. <laughs> Thank God because I was quickly so you can get the gist of it. This is what I do like if I wanna go out real quick and I wanna look different if my hair is dirty and whatnot. I use wigs. I buy my wigs. Um preferably that I have to do the least amount of work. And that tends to be with bangs or some kind of style in the front. So I use this to hide my hair. You know, everything is nice and flat in the back. And I'm going to be using the from the brand Sens Sensation Sensational. Right? And this is the Dashley. Full wig. I had a little clip in my daughter. I don't know where she put it. But I got this at the, at the beauty supply for $24.99. So for $24.99, you can become a new person. You can be somebody else. Wait, I need a whole moment, not a whole moment, a whole moment. Ooh, is she, is she blonde? Ooh. Not bad for $24.99. Okay guys, so this is my final look. What do you think? What do we think? How do we like it? Do we love it? Do we hate it? Um, so I'm gonna say my piece. So with the makeup, I am in love with the foundation. Everything looks super natural. Um, I feel like I could wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, which is what I was looking for in a foundation. So I am pretty, pretty impressed. The concealer, it took me a while to fall in love with it. Um, I kind of had to put um, a few more layers than I usually like to put, but it worked very well. The eyeshadow gave me a little bit of a headache because, you know, all the fallout that I was having. Um, but it's going to take me some time to learn how to play with the colors and with the texture. But it definitely looks nice on camera and in person. I'm in love with it. The um, waterproof eyeliner works very very smooth on my hands it is trash because I am not that very good with eyeliner um, but nothing that a little bit more practice can fix the bronzer it works very well very natural I will be purchasing the um, the bigger color the, the bigger color the full size for the bronzer and I might I might purchase the bigger size for the um, well, this is the bronzer. I'm gonna purchase the full size of the bronzer, and I might purchase a few of the full size of the highlighter because I like how it looks. Go to it. So bien. Ahora sí se te ve bien porque estamos aquí ya. Sí. Sí, me la pone. 
Let's see. Okay, so that was it. What else did I use? That's it for now. So very happy. Can't stop looking at myself. So I guess if you do your makeup and you do a new style and you can't stop looking at yourself, that's a good sign. So this video was dedicated to you, Leticia, just to remind you that you're amazing, awesome, powerful, strong woman. Don't let anything or anybody bring you down. You hold your own power, your own truth, and your own body. So keep pushing forward. Bye.